And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal, and they take on Sheffield United. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. The players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait. And this is the Arsenal starting eleven. Bernd Leno gets the nod in goal. Socrates starts with David Luiz in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And offside it is. That's a lovely ball. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. Looks as though they're going with the belt and braces approach. Yeah, 5 3 2 or 3 5 2. The midfield will be flooded when they've got the ball. Defensively, those fullbacks will be asked to supply support to their three centre backs, but it does enable you to play two strikers up front. Kieran Tierney. Jacka. Now Bayerin. Ozil. And Lacazette. Here's Ozil. And Xhaka again. Ozil. Lundström. They've regained possession. Superbly read and executed. Robinson Lundstrom Callum Robinson untidy in possession Nicola Pepe in full control of the ball here can they take the lead really important tackle oh goodness he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team well, the ref will hear the crowd all right. We can hear him from here. He's taking some stick. Crossing opportunity. It's with John Fleck. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. He's driven in the corner. Nicola Pepe. Well, the fans enjoyed that pass. Arsenal succeeding in getting the ball forward. What can they do from this position? Pepe. An important interception. It's with John Fleck. And he was in the right place to intercept. Callum Robinson. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? It's with John Fleck. Now, can he deliver accurately? Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Kieran Tierney. Arsenal simply had too much about them in their win against Crystal Palace. What are your expectations for this match, Lee? Well, Derek, a lot of hard work done away from home. A clean sheet to boot as well. 1-0. Can they get themselves in front here? Oh, it's off the post. And thumped away. And news of a goal coming through from the Etihad Stadium. Alan McAnally has the details. It's a goal for Manchester City. 28 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Jacker with it. Nothing wrong with that idea. And finishing, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang.
Well, here it is again, Derek. The way to the pass is excellent, and the finish, clinical. Lovely play. A chance to revisit the goal. And they're playing again, and Arsenal are leading. It's with John Fleck. That's a lovely ball. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Jacka. Well, they've jumped in front, Lee. That's the most important thing. Your assessment so far? Well, it's been a... Well, this might pay dividends. Electing to cross into the centre. Well, he was being pursued furiously. The effort, though, nothing to write home about, really. No, I think you give the credit to the defender there. Just put him off balance. Hector Bellerin. Jacka. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Aubameyang. Ozil, Nelson, Hector Bellerin, Lacazette, Xhaka, here's, and fed forwards, the end product just wasn't there, Stevens, The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Nelson. Ozil. And slipped through beautifully. Lacazette. Oh, a goal for Arsenal. It's theirs to lose now. Well, they say there's no better time to score just before half-time. The team talk of both sides are going to be changing now. It's a good finish, Derek, and they deserve the lead. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Well, a second goal for them here. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Norwood, Morrison. Now McBurney, Oliver Norwood, well he's got plenty of space on the flank here, well the cross was acceptable but no one there to thump at home, now with Aubameyang, a oh, tremendous vision, bit of a sloppy pass by Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Norwood, I'm delighted to say, more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Arsenal taking on Chelsea. Yeah, the fix is coming thick and fast. Should be a good game, that. Well, hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Lacazette. Don't forget, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Sheffield United facing Manchester City. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. Well, Arsenal had total domination as far as possession is concerned. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. And they're turning it into goals as well.
and very deftly cut out. Robbed them. Bayerine might be able to get in behind the defence. Just drifted into the illegal position, offside, in the opinion of the officials. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Callum Robinson. Morrison. It's with John Fleck. Norwood. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. A sloppy pass. Well, visionary passing. That is a moment he would dearly love to have back, if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on. Why not try a shot? And the goalkeeper, as you would expect, once again doing his job. Yeah, that's it, his job. Get behind the ball and save it. This is Ozil. Jaka. Ozil. Nelson. Patient enough build-up. Can they carve out a chance? Aubameyang. Jacker with it. Ozil. Crossing possibilities. Nelson. Xhaka. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Oliver Norwood. Stevens. Norwood. Morrison. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Basham in possession. Jack O'Connell. It's with John Fleck. Throw into Arsenal coming up. Jacka. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Ozil. An Arsenal corner. Well, he's been a long way from his best up front, Lee. Well, if you don't get back into this game, his lack of real potency will be the key factor. Defenders have marked him too easily. They've been comfortable with his game today. He's not been enough of a threat for me. Nelson. Now McBurney. Morrison. Leon Clark has it. It's with John Fleck. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Morrison. It needs an accurate cross. Cleared away. Hector Bellerin, Danny Ceballos, Granit Xhaka, and it will be an Arsenal free kick. And on the second half here, and it's almost Lee a case of whatever they've touched has turned to goals. Creating and scoring goals is the hardest thing to do on a football pitch, I can tell you. Arsenal have ticked all the boxes for me in that department. 
lovely to watch. And look at all the players, they've all got smiles on their faces. We love to see that. It's with Socrates. Jaka. Ozil. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And the interception following the Ozil pass. The referee has indicated there will be We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Oh, a nice looking pass. Pepe. And the delivery. Oh, it's off the post. That's it. The referee brings the action to an end.